What is up beautiful people of the internet? I go by the name of Wesley and today I am so so damn pumped to bring you guys a reaction to FaZe Rug's latest video Eating only in prison food for 24 hours. I regret it I don't know how to read it when it's all undercase like that, but I regret it. So I don't know something like that That being said guys, I'm super super pumped prison food and just prison stuff in general always is super interesting to me Faith Grug is a dope dope guy. I think criminally underappreciated when you're talking about like how good youtubers are he's been doing it for years and killing it that being said make sure you guys subscribe down below for more reactions and please comment let me know other videos you want to see me do reactions to whether they are from mr phase rug or other youtubers in general that being said let's just jump into it what is up guys what's As up you can see i am in a prisoner outfit and that's because we're gonna be eating prison food for the next 24 hours i kind of wish they still dressed prisoners up like this but i feel like ruggie's looking like he's a 1920s prisoner right there's a tiktok account that's all orange jumpsuits a former prisoner and he shows you the types of meals that prisoners would make when they would get hungry so you know it's authentic we're gonna be following the that's recipes so cool. and eating prison food for 24 hours hope you guys enjoy I think we'll enjoy it more than he will. For our first meal of the day, we're gonna start off with a prison grilled cheese. Okay. And what you're gonna need is an iron, butter, bread, aluminum foil, and cheese. If you guys are wondering how you get an iron in jail, I, I was. actual guy responded to a comment saying that you could buy it from a commissary worker. So there are ways. Let's get started. I hope you guys can take me serious with this outfit on the whole video. I just want to get in the spirit, you know? So we're gonna take some aluminum foil. You're gonna lay it down like that. You're gonna grab two pieces of bread. Next step, you're gonna take a butter knife and you're gonna spread the butter on the- I feel like this could alternatively be titled like how broke ass college kids can make grilled cheese easily in the dorm room without the RA like, being pissed at them for having cooking equipment. Outside of the bread. I just wonder if it's actually gonna taste different with an iron or, I don't think it's gonna taste different. No, I feel like it'll be pretty good. Same as if you made it on the stove. It's yeah. more of like a DIY, you know, like yeah. more innovative. So now that we got the butter spread, we got the cheese. I, I feel like it's right supposed here. to be and good. The other piece like that, butter's still on the outside. He said that you only wanna have one layer over. So you don't wanna double it like this. And now, the fun part. I've never used one of these. According to D, you're supposed to put this for about two minutes. That's not Maybe like that move bad. it around a yeah. little, you know? Yeah. I don't know why, I'm a huge fan of these videos. So if you guys love these creative food videos, drop a like. All right, now we're gonna flip it on the other side and do the same thing. Two minutes, baby. I don't know why, like I'm, I'm acting all like, hey, it's not impressive, it'll taste just like a normal grilled cheese. It's like, yeah, dude, that's the point. It's the way you're cooking it that's innovative. Duh. And I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah, slightly smarter version of myself. I'm sorry for being an idiot. All right, just like that. Ready that would be good, I think. Product? It's just heat, right? Oh, oh that looks oh, beautiful. It's <laughs> oh, it's hot. It's hot. Yeah, it was pretty it's flat, hot. though. Up, let's see if it actually cooked. Oh, yeah. The inside cooked, the outside. Wait, so did we do it right? So it looks the same as these? Nah. <laughs> but he's, he's like a pro. You That's know, like, way worse than ah! I anticipated, honestly. Hot, hot. Let it sit for a little bit if you guys are going to try this. Let it sit. <laughs> just let it sit. It's kind was of he just like smashed? It doesn't matter about how it looks, it matters about how it tastes. Okay. That's so true. Let's give it a shot. Yo, That'll taste that pretty good, looks right? good. All right, Pat, go. That'll taste good, right? Or it'll be soggy. Is it soggy? <laughs> it's like a regular grilled food. And don't <laughs> I think the bread needed to cook a little bit more. Yeah. We need to collab with D. He mm -hmm. needs to come down here and teach us how to do this thing. I'm going to give this a rating of 5 out of 10. I'll say a 3. All right, well, a three? let's continue. That's harsh. It must have been absolute ass to get a three. It's funny because you just on. know that that was a ZHC customized car. Like that. I, I've not seen that video, but I'm like, oh, that's a ZHC Lambo. Absolutely. Hop in. Yes, sir. How did you get this Lambo? Is this yours? Don't ask any questions. Okay. Hop in. Okay. Imagine someone who doesn't know who I am sees me wearing this in a Lambo. Are they calling the cops or not? 100%. Okay, let's be honest. I, I, I don't look like I would go to prison, you know? Yeah, he's, he's a nice guy. Guys, Looks like a I responsible citizen. James! We're about to make prisoner burrito. Ooh. Wait, that didn't make sense. <laughs> a prisoner burrito. <laughs> so what you're gonna need is some Cheez-Its, a bag, some ramen, jerky, burritos, Cheetos, a towel, and a plate. And you are gonna need some hot water. Junior, have you ever had a prison burrito? Because I feel like you've been there before, right? I've been to prison, yeah. Oh, really? Um, not I prison. just ate like regular meals. Like from the cafeteria? Yeah, yeah. This... Okay, this is more DIY. Yeah, get creative, bro. What are you doing? The ingredients concern me. I know, you guys are probably wondering how this is gonna turn into a burrito. 
burrito, but let's show you. First, you crush the ramen. Then you're gonna pour all the contents of this ramen in this Ziploc bag. Junior, give me a hand. Oh, I got there, yeah. Next, you're gonna crush your Cheetos. What the hell? It should look a little something like that. And you're gonna pour this with the ramen. This is about to be a fire burrito. Next, you're gonna do the same with Cheez-Its. Then you're gonna pour the Cheez-Its in the ramen Cheetos mixture. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm highly skeptical. I am so skeptical. We already have going. How is this going to turn into anything resembling a burrito? But wait, there's more. You're gonna take the flavor from the ramen that you have. It could be beef or chicken, and then you're gonna pour that in there. Perfect. You're still not done with this bag. You're gonna take the beef jerky, and you're gonna cut it into pieces, and then you're gonna put that in the bag as well. Now that you got it looking like this, you pour this These in the are bag. all the foods I buy at gas stations on road trips. I feel like this is just a gas station burrito, you know? Ooh. Oh, drop I still one. don't see how it's this a burrito, This is what though. it's supposed to look like before you add the hot water. Now it's time to add the boiling water, and you don't want to add a lot. Be nice and slow with it. I think that should be good. Then you're going to seal it up. You're going to want to smash it up a bit, and it should look a little something like that. That's what the consistency is supposed to look like. And then you are going to want to roll this to compress everything to the bottom like that. So you just wrap it in a towel like this, and Dee said that you have to wait about 15 minutes for it to cook, and we should be good to go. So while we let this cook, you're gonna take your honey barbecue Fritos. It could be any honey barbecue, honey Cheetos, honey anything. Take it, you're gonna crush it. Not like we haven't done this five times so far, but I'm gonna pour this in the plate. I should have crushed it more, but this is where you're gonna wrap your burrito in. You think it's time to check it out? It's been about 10, 15 minutes. Please work, come on. Come on. All right. Yo, that smells good. No smells way. Like no way, really? It That's so weird. So some really? of it might fall apart because we didn't add enough water, but see, Junior, you can get this part. Okay, that still counts. Oh yeah, we made two burritos. Yeah, exactly. Two perfect. burritos, it kind of fell apart. I feel like it's actually gonna taste good. That looks like the contents of my stomach after I go and make gas station stops on a road trip once they've been digesting for about three hours. Okay, oh. This is my burrito. It shouldn't have come out like this, but cheers. cheers. Here we go. It does not look bueno. It does not look good. It's all right. The texture no. is weird, but the taste is actually good. I really? Agree. The texture is just not good, but you literally just taste everything we put in. Wow. Noah, there you go. This looks atrocious. Good. That's like a 10 out of 10. I'm no so way. Crazy, so that means it's good. I'm gonna go like a 7.5. I'm sorry. I, your rating scales make no sense to me. One thing was a 3 out of 10, but you weren't like throwing up. This is a 10 out of 10 and you're not like creaming your pants. If it's a 10 out of 10, it's like the best damn thing you could ever eat. It's like Gordon Ramsay made this ish. Maybe you thought it was just gonna be ass and it was okay, but it's not a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, like what? You know, times are tough in prison. Having this, I'd say like a 8.5. I that's like that. Well, He's guys, like rating it for being in prison. Way, I feel so like that's fair. Around. All right, next up, I'm here with Chanel. Hey guys. And we're gonna be making some prison Laffy Taffies. Have you seen this on TikTok? No, never. What you guys are gonna need is some powdered creamer what? of your choice, some Kool-Aid of your choice, and water. That's Six. all you need to make Laffy Taffy, which is crazy. You're gonna start with the powdered creamer in here. Next, you add the Kool-Aid packet. Ooh, perfect. So I feel gray. like this one could be really realize good. It was gray. Now what you're gonna wanna do is actually mix this before adding the water. This one so I think could be really this good. Is you barely add water, like a tiny bit of water as you guys saw on the TikTok, so. Like that much? This part is what's gonna take long. You have to actually mix it for 30 minutes. Starting Not worth already it. already look different. Not worth We're it. We're gonna try to do 30 this until minutes? we get the taffy consistency. And that's where the fun part happens. It smells like it. It smells so good. I bet it's oh pretty God. good, but 30 minutes? I think we minutes? the right amount of water. We just have to keep stirring, Unless stirring, you can stirring. sell it. Is there a way we could cheat this? Follow me. Oh, really? Wait, so you think this'll work? Let's give it a go. So hold on, hold on. let me just say something. In prison, you're gonna have to have use your this. hand, but we have a live hack because Chanel has to go to work. So hopefully, Works. Ooh. I wonder if going quickly would mess it up. It kind of looks like taffy. Oh, hey, it kind of worked. Mushy. Like That's cool. Yeah, Play Doh, exactly. Prison said Play Doh instead. Keep doing this until you get a better Laffy Taffy consistency, and then we could try it. So, what he uses the saran wrap for is to roll it out and then cut it into pieces because he said in prison you could sell three pieces for a dollar. That's Ooh. the hustle right there. there. Right? This is legit Laffy Taffy. So, now Chanel is rolling it out so we could cut it into little pieces. So, ours doesn't look as good as his, but we're trying, okay? All right, you want to cut it? 
I'll cut, I'll that, cut, I'll cut. <laughs> There's kind of looks like a piece of dog dookie, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, can we both cut it? Yeah. Ready? Wait, wait, wait. Should we try a piece? Absolutely. Right, three for a dollar, guys. Hit me up. DM me on Instagram. Or something. <laughs> it's time for the so taste scared. test of the Laffy Taffy. I'm only going to take a bite. Same here. All right, ready? This Cheers. is really cool. This one turned out the best so far. I'm a bit it's sour. So sour. I'm a little bit. I'm a bit sour. <laughs> It tastes like a Laffy Taffy. We just didn't have the time. What made it so sour? The Kool-Aid powder. I think we should have added a little bit more powdered creamer, but what? it's really good. It's so it's like a Laffy Taffy without the sour. So it's like a Laffy Taffy Warhead thing. Actually really good. I could taste the Laffy Or without the taffy. sugar. Noah, you already know. Well. That's cool. Wow, it's sour. It's not bad. Though. It's <laughs> that's not really, bad at that's all. really good. It's I kind of like really sour good. things. All right, good luck at work, Chanel. Thank that's you. the Bye, closest guys. so far we'll see for you with sure. The last meal. That was the best. So for our last that meal. That has way, well, the last meal has way darker implications considering this is the prison food. <laughs> when he said last meal, I was like, damn, we're about to get electric chair or something. Well, we are going to be making some prison pizza with Jessica. Let's go. These are all the ingredients you need. You want to list them with me? Cheese it. Salsa. Water. Cheese. Pepperoni. Beef stick. Cheese. Ramen. Pickles. I'm I don't think this is going to be good. The pickles. And this too. This is what you're going to make your dough in. Mm -hmm. And then you need something circular to flatten out the dough and make it round. Let's get started. So D made it with saltine crackers, but me and Jessica love cheese it So we're going to replace the saltine crackers with cheese. It's getting grave. I don't saltine, know if that's a good idea. Whatever you want to do. We're going to start by crushing some cheeses. Wait, why don't we just do them all in one? Like whatever we have to crush. So yeah. even the okay, ramen. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Put the ramen in. All right. We're doing some black pack here. Wait. Speeding up the process. Oh. Hey. Okay. Right. Clever. I'm excited. I feel like it's actually going to taste good. Mm -hmm. I don't. Oh, yeah. I think okay. it's going to be terrible. Can I use that to crush it? I think Can I do it? Yes. Okay, okay. So this is literally going to be our dough. Do they have this in prison? Oh. I'm just <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Oh. How is that so dumb? Like, how like crushed do we get it? Till it looks powdery. Guys, drop a like on this video right now if you missed Jessica in the videos. I love filming with her, but you know, like, we're just busy. All right, you know what? This is good enough. Cuz we gotta add. Okay, so next up, I think it's the boiling water, water, right? Do you wanna put this in the microwave? This might sound really stupid, but does anybody else get really scared of putting things in the microwave like they're gonna explode? I do, I, I was honestly, I gonna do. Ask you, is it safe to put glass in the microwave? We're gonna get attacked by microwave lovers that <laughs> know everything about I get scared about the microwave yeah, okay, in general, so honestly. I'd say 30 seconds at a time. <laughs> yes, it is hot. Stop. We gotta add a little bit of water, not too much. You want me to do it, Jessica? Yeah, bro. <laughs> okay. okay I'll, I'll hold this open. Here it goes. Try everything. not to miss. I feel like this is not gonna make dough whatsoever, guys. Are you serious? I'm scared it's boiling. I do not. Oh. Are you? Oh, there we go. Okay. Well, I do not I believe that. I already though. messed up the freaking. I'm skeptical. I think we're on the right track yeah. here. It's already looking like it's pumping together. Yeah. I think we're supposed to do this for about 15 minutes. Same as the burrito, so you're gonna long. cut some slim jim or beef jerky, whatever you want. And then you're gonna cut your pickles. Just Why? Watch out, watch out. <laughs> it's like because it's slippery. You gotta hit it. You gotta tap it on the not on a the huge counter. Huge fan of the pickles. What about you? Uh, it depends. Okay, so we got the dough ready. We got these sliced up. We're gonna need them later. You're gonna put this on any circular thing. We just chose a container top. Hey, now that does look like dough. I think we crushed that part. So then you put a hey, piece of saran it. wrap on top of it. It looks That way awful. your hands don't get stuck to it. And then you start kneading and forming it. In the shape. How, how, how do like three out of four of these just end up looking like puke? Cut the circle. Okay. Stop repeating. Hey, yeah, come on. <laughs> We're cousins. <laughs> We're family. We do this. All right. We're allowed to do this. <laughs> Are you ready? Hey! What? Oh, yeah. This is like Sweet Life is Zach and Cody. No, no it's, it's not. not. Hey! Stop, stop. You're doing that. No, you're weird. Wait, how, are you being serious? How did that just happen? Stop, the dough is getting cold. We gotta get to That's the funny. Dough. Wow. Okay, that looks kind of good. I take it back. Hey. That kind of makes, it looks good. It looks like his in the video. I'm sorry, it looks good. I was wrong. I wish YouTube had a feature where they could smell like what we're smelling. You know what I mean? Right? That'd be smart. Maybe in the future. Yeah, we could create it. Guys, don't steal that. We said it today. He said about two minutes. So oh, we're gonna wow. place this in here. And... 
Our dough, Whoa. our dough. Is it hot? Um, yeah. Oh, dude, it actually came together as Yo, one. Yo, this is sick. So now we got our salsa as our pizza sauce. It's a little strange. But... Oh. That's oh. not, I am so freaking. It's okay, nothing going I on. am so sorry. I am just so. Hey! I am just sometimes not the brightest fish in the sea. This part is a little weird to me. Like, it was going well, and then now I'm a little. Scared. I guess you don't really get a lot of tomato paste, though, right? It smells it smells it's, this is probably, honestly, your only source of tomato sauce, right? Like, salsa is just tomato sauce with other stuff in it. That was good. So, Pizza sauce is just. A bit. You get your pepperoni and, basil and beef sticks in this bowl. And tomato and then sauce. you're going to add some cheese. You like cheese, right? Yes, Brian. Hey. I love cheese, guys. Like, I'm lactose, too. Really? But, so now you're going to put this on your pizza. I know what he meant. I just feel like his phrasing there was so funny. I like cheese. And I'm lactose. <laughs> Not I'm lactose intolerant. He's just like, hey, yo, I'm lactose. It's like if I have a gluten allergy and I'm like, I like bread. And I'm gluten. <laughs> Ooh. Hold up. I love did bro, man. <laughs> I feel like he's just got like the funnest, nicest, friendliest energy out of like everybody on YouTube. Now we're gonna put this back in the microwave. Like he'd ask you how you were doing, and he would mean and it. You know? It should be good. Here we go. Wait, wait, wait. Where's your hat? Oh, guys, listen. No, I, I'm no, sure no, you got. No, no, you guys got the gist of it. No, no, no. There we go. Get it like in the a spirit. sailor. Whoa, this actually looks like a pizza. Ooh. Okay, that looks pretty Whoa. good. Okay. Honestly, everything about it sounds good. The only things I'm worried about was the salsa and, and the, the pickles. pickles. All right, Brian, sprinkle her up with some pickles. Okay. What are the I pickles wish they were there banana for? Banana peppers, because like I love banana peppers. Yeah. yeah. No. Okay. Because that's not how he did it. Oh, okay. Alright, you gotta cut it into slices. This one looks now. good. Whoa. Except for the pickles. Honestly, presentation wise, I think this is a 10 out of 10. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Alright, okay. guys. Aside from the Laffy Taffy, even even counting the Laffy Taffy, this one definitely looks the most like actual pizza. For sure. It's a moment of truth. Prison pizza, baby. Let's Cheers. go. Cheers. <laughs> Yo. Mm. Yo. We might have just dipped something. This is actually good. Is it really good? good? I'm a fan. Wait, I'm wait, going wait. in for a second bite. If they're going for a second bite, it's wow. pretty good. Oh. I thought he was waiting for a second bite. Even the pickles are good on it. Really? Ten out of ten. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had a lot Did of- Did you relish the taste of the pickles? Hey! Prison foods, and honestly, they're pretty creative. Yeah. I'll give them that, like a 10 out of 10 for the creativity. Some of them were iffy, some of them were pretty good. So drop a like, hit that subscribe button, get me the 20 mil, and other than that, it's been rug. And we're out. 20 mil is just obscene. That's so cool. Honestly, the pizza went way better than I anticipated. After the first two, I was like, I was, I was not a believer anymore, but the Laffy Taffy and the pizza definitely brought it home, I feel like. That being said, guys, let me know in the comments, would you try any of these? I would try all of them, but I just like trying and eating things in general. I'm just kind of a weirdo, like I'll eat almost anything. That being said, would you guys try these? And if so, which one? I'm Wesley, make sure you guys subscribe for more reactions and comment. Let me know what other reactions you guys want to see me do. That being said, I love y'all. Have an absolutely beautiful day. I'm 